Y'all looking for it? Yes, sir. Yep. St. Luke, the 19th chapter. That's in the New Testament scripture, book number three. Amen. 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 The 19th chapter. Praise God. Amen. Amen. St. Luke, the 19th chapter. Again, I read in verse 11. It says, uh, and as they heard these things, he had it. And, uh, Make a parable because he was nigh to Jerusalem. Mm -hmm. And because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately yeah, appear. Yeah. Uh -huh. And he said, Therefore, a uh, certain nobleman went into a far country yeah. to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. Uh -huh. and he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds. And said unto them, Occupy uh, till I come. Mm -hmm. yeah. But his citizens hated him and uh, <laughs> sent a message out to him saying, uh, <coughs> We will not have this man to reign over us. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. It came to pass that when he was returned, uh -huh. uh, having received the kingdom, yeah. then he commanded these servants to be called unto him to whom he had given the money, All right. that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. Yeah. Mm. And then came the first saying, Lord, thy pound have gained uh, 10 pounds. Right. And he said unto him, Well, thou good, uh, good servant, mm -hmm. because thou hast been faithful in very little, yeah. have thou thought it over 10 cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound have gained five pounds. My Lord. And he said, likewise to him, be thou also over uh, five cities. Yeah. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here's thy pound, <laughs> which I have kept laid up in a napkin. Mm -hmm. For all I fear thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up that thou layest not down, yeah. and uh, reapest that thou didst not sow. Right. And he said unto him, Out of thine own mouth will I judge thee, yeah. thou uh -huh. wicked you servant. Uh -huh. Thou knowest that I was an ask your man, uh -huh. taking up that I laid not down, and reaping that I did not uh -huh. sow. Wherefore then gavest not thou my money into the bank? Yeah. That at my coming I might have required my own with usury. Yeah. And he said unto them that stood by, Take from him that the pound, mercy, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. Yeah. And they said unto him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. Mm -hmm. But I say unto you, that every, unto every one which have shall be given. Yeah. And from him that have not, well, even yeah. that he have. Shall be taken away from him. <coughs> Listen carefully. But those my enemies, yeah. which would not that I should reign over them, okay. reign here and slay yeah. them <coughs> before me. Yeah. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. We'll talk briefly uh, about hidden talents. Amen. Hidden talents. Yeah. All right. This. Uh, lesson that Jesus gives, yeah. and I'm still convinced that <coughs> Jesus is the greatest storyteller yeah. that has ever lived. All right. Yeah. Amen. He, he had a way of communicating. Yeah. And he used what the Bible called parables. Yeah. That's just an uh, earthly story with the heavenly, heavenly name. Name. Right. And Jesus said the reason why he spake in parables right. because it was not given uh, unto men to know the mysteries Amen. of God. Amen. That is, in other words, uh, people that really wanted to know what he was saying uh -huh. would hang around a little bit longer. All right. 
to find out the man. You understand? Amen. If he spoke in parables, people who were not really concerned about being saved, yeah. they would just hear the parable and go on and just uh -huh. give their own interpretation. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They mean whatever they want to mean. You understand, like we do on Sunday when the preacher preaching, <laughs> right. we won't come back to the Bible study. We won't oh, come to Sunday school oh, to see what the real meaning of what right. he's preaching about. And so while others are shouting and rejoicing, right. you're looking at them and wondering why they're shouting yeah. and rejoicing. Yeah. They're shouting and rejoicing because they came back to get the real meaning yeah. of what you couldn't get between 11 and 1 o'clock. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Right. Yeah. But Jesus would speak in power. Oh. He always knew how to survey the crowd. Yes. Uh -huh. He talked to farmers, that is. He would talk about trees and plants and seeds. Uh -huh. Amen. Uh -huh. Praise God. He, he, he understood uh, that they would know what he was talking about. Yeah. Uh, when he talked to uh, primarily fishermen, he would talk about fishing. Yeah. Things of that sort. Make very sure that they understood that whatever the story was, there was a, a deeper, greater meaning yeah. to the story that he told. And this setting takes place when the Bible said Jesus had um, just gone through Jericho. Yeah. Down with a rich tax collector yeah. by the name of Zacchaeus. Who mm -hmm. The Bible says was very rich. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he got rich from cheating folk. Oh, wow. Amen. He was a tax collector. And yeah. tax collectors in that day, they were... Uh, they were appointed by the Roman government. Yeah. Yeah. Essentially, the Roman government just wanted them to collect taxes from the Jews. And yeah. once they collected the assessed amount, the Roman didn't care how much they made you pay. Amen. Yeah. And so that's how the tax collectors got rich. And, uh, and this particular one, the Bible said, had heard about Jesus. And mm -hmm. he himself wanted to see Jesus for who he was. Yeah. I didn't say he wanted to accept him. Uh -huh. There are always some curious folks. Oh, Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Then now everybody, I understand everybody don't come here to see Jesus. I understand yeah. that. But he wanted, the Bible said he wanted to see him uh, for who he was. Yeah. Yeah. And the scripture said that he ran up into a tree because he was a short man. Yeah. Uh, the crowd, he would not have been able to see him. Yeah. Yeah. But the Bible said that even though he ran up into the tree to see Jesus, Jesus could see him from where Amen. he was. Amen. Amen. And Jesus told him, make haste, the day I come down to your house. Yeah. And the scripture said that. Those that were gathered around began to criticize Jesus. Right. Saying that this man had uh, gone to be a guest at a sinner's house. Yeah. yeah. Amen. But you got to know that if you're a sinner and Jesus come to your house, you already got to say that. You're not going to be a sinner no more. Amen. I'm not concerned about what folk used to be. I'm not worried Amen. about what I used to be because God is able to affect the change in your life. Amen. Once you get to know him Amen. Now, your life will never be the same. Thank you. The Bible said that even as they were making judgments, uh -huh. Zacchaeus was impressed to the extent that he told Jesus, Amen. The half of my good. I give to the poor. I'm going to give to the poor. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. And when he wanted to see who Jesus was, I'm certain that's not what he had in mind. Yeah. He said, I have wronged any man, any stole man. from any man. I'm going to return it for all. Amen. Yeah. Then the Bible says that Jesus continued teaching. Amen. Yeah. There I gathered great crowds. Yeah. But they knew that Jesus was. The Messiah. Yeah. Yeah. They had heard the claim yeah. that he had came to save his people. Oh, Amen. But now, his people, which were Jews, uh, right. didn't just need saving as far as their souls, Amen. but they also needed deliverance from the Roman government. Yeah. Right. Amen. And they were just like some of us. All right. They were far more interested in him delivering them out of the hand of the Romans yes. than they were in him saving their soul. Amen. Amen.